Hey everyone, I just wanted to remind you about the maintenance that is required uh, for our unit. Now, normally when we take your order over the phone, we like to go over everything and let you know that there, there's only uh, one thing that you need to keep up on when you own these tugs, and it is your track tensioning. So when you can pull up on these and slide your fingers underneath, like I can here, that is not good. You do not want this much slack inside your belt or your, your track here. It is technically a belt. So this is an example of what your uh, tug should not look like. You can see that there is a gap in between there where somebody can easily stick their hand in. And that just means it's too loose. Eventually over time, if you can see these sprockets here that go inside the grooving of the track here, there are holes that are made for our sprocket. Eventually over time, these sprockets aren't gonna be able to grab the track which will result in a lot of slipping. When you're towing your plane, you'll wonder why your tug is just randomly acting this way all of a sudden. Uh, there'll be some slipping, and then these will also start grinding down, which means you'll have to go in and replace them. They're like really expensive, like, I don't know. Last time I checked, they were $20, but now they're probably $50 a pop. Um, and it'll also, when you have so much slack, these, these rotor clips will start um, getting lodged into the gravel or the, the flooring of where you are, they'll start coming out and then that means your link is going to pop off and that'll just create your track to fall apart. We don't want that to happen. So this is a great example of um, not doing the track tensioning over time and this tug I would say is about about four to five years old and it's coming in for a little bit of um, touch up and refurbishment. So we know for sure that this has not been maintained. Now if you can come see on this tug that also came in for some touch up. Um, they were loose as well, but we tightened them up. And you can see, now that they're tight, I cannot stick my hand underneath there. It's just way too tight. My finger's gonna get pinched. So this is exactly how you want them to be. This is great. And again, this is not. 